Hey guys, back to come follow me again. Um, another wonderful week of weird weather here actually. It's been warm but it's winter so a bit weird. Anyway, <laughs> beside the point, we're in section 64 to 66 this week so there's three sections you're going to have to read. Um, uh, 65, 66 fairly short and we're going to cover them a little bit. 64 is probably where you're going to find most of this week's study will take you. Although the 65 and 66 do have a really good point in each of them. Uh, some interesting information about William McLennan which we will get to. Anyway, so uh, verse 60 or section 64 sorry uh, was given September 1831. And this is after they're back from their journey to Zion, New Jerusalem, over in Missouri. And they're back in um, Ohio. And and Kirtland, there's just a lot of, ooh, you know, like people hating on the church. And Joseph really felt to like, continue um, his work on translating Bible verses, which is what the Lord had asked him to do. Uh, so they actually prepare, this is when he's preparing to leave and go to a place called Hiram. Hiram with an H-I-R-A-M. Uh, and that's another place in the same state. So, um, while he'd been in Missouri, he'd put aside the work of translating Bible verses. So he wanted to get back to that. So he's gone to that. So it's, it's broken down into sort of sections as uh, sections within the section, as most of these are. Uh, you can read the first few bits. We're going to go to verses 9 and 10. But before that, it's all talking about forgiveness. Because remember, we talked about when they were on this journey, they argued a lot. There was a lot of contention, so much so that, you know, there'd been an argument in the boat. They didn't get back in the boat. So we talked about that. If you want to watch that, a couple of weeks ago, go watch that. But um, this is talking about, you know, how to figure each other, and you got to forgive each other. And that's what the the first parts all around uh, verses one through eleven. Uh, in verse eight, he even says, um, "My disciples in days of old sought occasion against one another, um, and forgave not one another." And it just it causes like when you're in a group of people, a group of friends, or or a family group. And you have that going on, it, it's just awkward, right? Anything like that, it's just super awkward, uncomfortable. If it's a little thing, it's like that. If it's a big thing, then it's just horrendous for everybody. Whether it's your fault or you're the person involved, it just you just get involved, you get swept into it, and it's the whole thing. So it's just not a good way to be that. And this is about building up the kingdom, and you've got to build up the kingdom person by person because that is what the kingdom is, people. That's us, people. So you've got to do it person by person. And you can't do that if you're fighting and contentious and blah. So, verse 9 and verse 10. We're going to go there. It says, Wherefore I say unto you that ye ought to forgive one another. For he that forgiveth not his brother, his trespasser standeth condemned before the Lord, for there remaineth in him the greatest sin. And in 10, I the Lord will forgive whom I will forgive, but of you it is required to forgive all men. Great verse. And often quoted, and then I think a lot of people don't really get the concept of what forgive is. Uh, yes, you forgive and you try and forget. You should forget. Um, some of the grievous sins that happen, not so easy to forgive, not so easy to forget. In fact, probably never will forget them because they make you into who you are. Um, they, they shape your life in such a way that there's really no forgetting them. Um, but it's laying them aside and not have them take over your everyday. And that takes time. So I put down here, how hard is it to forgive serious hurt? Because little hurts you can, you know, um, I've had problems in presidencies I've worked in where um, one of them I wasn't involved. Some of them I have been involved. Um, just not getting on again. Same kind of thing. They're just, just, just different points of view. We both felt it was right, both felt that it was revelation for, and it just, yeah. And then I know one time when I was younger, but impetuous, I got really frustrated with our leadership. Um, our young woman's president, she was just, she wasn't proactive. And I just wanted to, to be proactive, because I'm like that, and it didn't happen, and we just, and it just caused friction, um, and not good, not good, so... Um, those were those are forgiven. We're all good now. Um, everything is fine there. It's just a different way of being, and I learned from that. She learned from that, and we we're, we're good fine. We're fine now. 
but I'm going to talk here about serious, serious hurt. Um, I actually get this verse thrown at me a lot when I'm talking about family matters from when I was younger, when my um, stepfather, not the one I've got now, because again, the one I have now is an amazing man, but the one I had, evil, evil person, um, caused a lot of serious, serious hurt to not only me, but my step-siblings and my half-siblings. Um, and personal injury to our souls or injury to those that we love, it can be unfair. But I get this this verse, verse 10, thrown at me a lot, like, oh, you have to forgive him, you know, because even if he doesn't forgive you, and I'm like, um, but I don't do anything wrong. And that's been, oh, yeah, <laughs> believe me. Um, it's getting better, it's getting better, and the people I talk to are getting better. Leaders are understanding more, and I've had some really good leaders. But uh, I still get this thrown around when I'm talking about that, and I'm like, no, it's not about forgiving. And this is where, when it's serious, serious hurt, forgiveness is not so much about letting the person get away with it. It's not letting that person stay in your life if it's going to cause you harm or if it's really toxic to your spiritual environment. That might mean distance. It probably does mean distance, unfortunately. Um, maybe that's a good thing for you. Maybe it's a harder thing for you to deal with. But if you want to truly get through that, um, what I really want to talk about that forgiveness is not understood by those who don't go through serious serious harm like that and the forgiveness that I'm talking about here is actually a healing it's a healing process and it's actually handing that over to the Lord and saying look I can't deal with this I cannot I don't know how to forgive this this is too much and you hand it over that's the forgiveness that's the healing process of it and that actually is the forgiveness is handing it over to the Lord and letting it go and it's really hard to do. It's not something that happens overnight. You need how to work on it and everything. Um, but I'm just pointing out because we're on time already. But yeah, if we don't forgive, it only causes us bitterness and keeps us from feeling the fullness of the Holy Ghost. So we really do need to work on that. This is in all situations. We all need to forgive and let that spirit of contention go. Because we really want to feel the fullness of the Holy Ghost. Hand it over to Jesus. Leave it with him. <coughs> and work on forgiving. Um... Actually, this month's article or oh, insight has a really good article. Oh, look at that in a minute. Um, how to heal, right there. How to heal from any struggle, one step at a time. And forgiveness is healing. Yeah, you probably haven't thought of that before. But actually forgiving serious hurt is a healing. So being able, so this is some actual good how-tos. goes through. Three pages, not too hard to read, and had some really good references um, for conference talks, which will also help you with how to actually do it. Because, you know, I could go on for ages on how I did it, but it's not going to be your journey. Your journey will be different, and how it works for you will be different. How that looks like for you is going to be different. The point is, we need to work on this, and that forgiveness isn't always just about, like, them saying sorry, because oftentimes people don't say they're sorry. But you still need to work on handing that over to the Lord as part of the healing. So forgiveness, as the world will tell you, is a little different to what forgiveness as the Lord will tell you. Forgiveness as the Lord will tell you is to work with him, handing over to him and moving on. So that even if this still permeates into your life, it does not control your everyday life. It does not shape your choices in a negative way. Um, yeah. Really, honestly, go read that article on how to heal. It's really, really good. I will link it as best I can. I can't do that for your Instagram people, sorry. I can't link for my Instagram peeps. But uh, I will link it on YouTube and I will link it on Facebook. So have a look for that. But uh, stay tuned for Second Insight and uh, it's good stuff. Okay.